Hello you guys, it's your girl Lucci Does It and I'm here to bring you guys another video. Today's video is all about, yes, what I'm touching on, my boobs, you guys. I'm getting a breast augmentation, uh, an actual lift actually. You know I had a kid so you got to get a lift and I will tell you guys all about that, um, who I'm going with, the price and why I'm getting it done. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. So let me take y'all back in time. The reason why I wanted to get my boobs done initially is because I did have a kid. So your boobs drop, they fall, they lose their fullness. And I was sucked dry. I, I breastfed my daughter from the time she was born up until like a year and a half later. So my boobs were just they were just skin tissue. They didn't have nothing there. And I was very insecure about that. And I definitely wanted to change that. So the first opportunity I got, I wanted to have a surgery that took care of my butt, my flat butt, <laughs> and also my boobs, my flat, flabby boobs. So I did my research. I, I thought I did. And you know, ultimately what it came down to was me getting it done for cheap because at that time I wasn't you know trying to spend all that much money and when you take a price cut like that you get a price cut on the job so you guys do yourself a service you know me being who I was I thought it was going to be cool but no you know doctors be trying to slide and like not really do their job and the doctor that i had at that time was taking on four other girls before me two were tummy tucks and bbls and and i had a bbl and i had a breast augmentation so you guys don't be like me or what i did i could have stayed here and probably got way better results to where i didn't have to come back to get things fixed so this is where I'm at now. <laughs> so after I got that surgery, I you know, waited to try to let them heal. What he failed to not inform and tell me about was that he placed the implant above the muscle. Yes, you guys, he placed the implant above. So it, it and it was a, also, it was a saline. It wasn't even what he said, it was a gummy bear. It wasn't, so like I said, the doctor was fugazi, you know what I mean? And he did me trifling out of pocket because he didn't really look out he was just collecting that coin um so i knew that and i realized that after the fact because i'm i was trying to reach out i'm trying to let him know if he can fix something and he was not even answering or contacting me there was no real bedside manners that the doctor had so basically what i got was saline implant and it was above the muscle and so when I touched my breast after some time after they were healed, I noticed that there was like this ripple. And I was like, dang, what the heck? It's not under my muscle like it's supposed to be. So I was so upset about that. Not only that, my areola. So I've always kind of had a bigger size areola, but it was even more so bigger than I would have liked. And I think it was due to just you know having kids you know they kind of expand that way but my areola size even though i wanted it smaller it ended up getting bigger and that was what i didn't want i was hoping that it would be smaller so i don't know if it was because of the keloid or what but going with that doctor it made the areola even bigger so that was you know made me upset so it was just like oh my gosh i cannot win after getting this surgery, this was horrible, you know? Now, going back two years after that, I started re doing more research. I did more research to figure out, you know, what doctors really could probably fix this, you know? And I waited a while and I found a doctor that was in LA, but he charged a lot. I think he was charging like 10,000. Um, but at the time, you know, I didn't have the money and so there's all the credit, you know, so I had to get my credit up. And so now I found a doctor and the doctor that I'll be going with in a few days from now is Dr. Craw. Yes, Dr. Craw in Miami, he specializes in this breast augmentation, breast lift, all of that. He is board certified and he is in the top 
of the game right now. Like he does basically everybody's breast lifts out here and he is a real G about it. He has years and years and years in the game. So Dr. Kra is my doctor. Super excited. I'm not nervous right now. I think once I actually get to the actual surgery center, it's CG surgery center. I will probably be nervous then, but for right now, I'm just like, yes, I'm about to get my boobs set. <laughs> so yeah, so that's my doctor. And also the price point for his, um, to work with him was 6,500 just to get the breast lift. But what I needed and what I wanted and what he also does is this thing called Galaflex. I don't know if you guys heard of it, but it's basically a mesh that's put in place or put inside of the, um, the breast cavity to keep it lifted, keep it perky so it never droops. So basically it's a permanent mesh that stays in place and helps your breasts to keep keep their form. So that's what I'll be getting. Um, so that totals to $8,000. Yes, Lucci, gotta, gotta spend that Lucci to really get what you want. So, and I do have some witch picks, which I'll bring right up in here somewhere in here and that's kind of what i want my breasts to look like i am not looking for nothing that's too over the top um what do they say high profile it doesn't have to be high profile i actually really want them to look natural um but um i don't mind you might, i might as well you know get a little bit extra oh and also with that galaflex you can also have children after that and they still keep their shape so that's why um, I paid the extra 1500 to be able to get that I will be having surgery you guys on the 13th today is the 11th and I will be actually putting up this video today if you guys see it and I'm super excited I'm super stoked and I just wanted you guys to know that this is actually officially happening I'm here in Miami as we speak I'll show you my outside window I have a little view And yeah, you guys, it's officially happening. So stay tuned to my journey, like and subscribe. You guys, if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section down below. And until then, you guys, the next time you guys see me will be after my surgery. I don't know, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. But until then, oh, I'm so excited. Talk to you guys next time, bye.